Hello and welcome to another episode of Crypto Charts. I am Fausto Botelho, broadcasting from Brazil, where we're having a lovely warm weather. And here we use our experience in technical analysis and try to extract logical indications about the future behavior of the crypto prices. Nowadays, we're also talking about the stock market, specifically of the S&P, because we think it's starting a bear market, which is probably ending up with a crash, and that's going to affect all the assets of the world and uh, very much will affect the crypto space. So let's begin with the uh, S&P, where we had something very special today. Well, that's the chart beginning on uh, 1950. This is a indexed chart. We take inflation out, out of uh, the chart. <clears throat> so it's uh, S&P deflated by CPI. Uh, back to candle chart. Uh, we have very good reasons to believe that this <clears throat> upward trend that started in 2009 right after the subprime crisis has reverted because first of all we we have this uh, trend upward line uh, broken we had a double top that was confirmed when the market closed uh, broke this support and what's happening now is that it went up for about 11 percent let's take a look here measure it up yeah, about 11-12%, which is actually what it's used to do whenever it crashes. Yeah, let's just take a look here. Just before the 2008 crash, it also rose 12% here, and then it rose 9.4%. And here, look at, look at here, it rose 11.6% right before it, it, it fell 32.8%, which was the crash of the S&P. So these uh, 11%, 12, 11, 12% that it, it has raised uh, doesn't actually prove anything, doesn't show anything in terms that it might be going back to a, a, a bull market. No, it, it is not. We have uh, a lot of evidence that is saying that <clears throat> there is a bear market start and what we had today was a shooting star uh, when the market tests the former support line of this double top here so uh, we have uh, we're starting to have all the reasons to believe also that we've seen so far only a abc which is going to make which is going to uh, be called as a probably i think in my opinion it's probably going to be called a simple pullback to the former uh, support level of the double top. So if this is confirmed tomorrow, uh, it should be considered very bullish. I mean, sorry, bearish. Uh, and for that, uh, well, uh, half of the job is done here for a reversal candlestick pattern. Uh, we've had so far a doji. Which, which means an indefinition. Uh, that's a market that was defined for the bulls, right? Uh, and this is an undefined market where bulls and bears are even. So that's the way markets revert. And this is especially uh, because it's happening in a very special contest, which is a... a uh, near or at the moment the market touches and, and uh, uh, testing tests these uh, very important support I mean ex former support level and now probable resistance level probable because uh, well actually the market is telling us that it's failing this is 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 feeling this resistance right so uh, if tomorrow we have an opening with a gap, well, then I'm going to start uh, thinking very seriously that uh, there's a top being formed. So to take a look at what may happen tomorrow, we might take a look at the mini index. Uh, the market closed today at 26.16. Uh, 
and is trading now in the mini S&P that it's round the clock at 2613 so there there is a possibility for a gap to be open even though because this looks like a well sorry I'm showing you the 15 minute uh, chart now for the mini S&P so this uh, uh, market is testing the support here but it's flagging down so very good chance and this looks like a reversal right let's, uh, let's do let's increase our analysis make it deeper yeah no it didn't break the support line yet but it might during the night so if we have this line broken tomorrow and the market opens like uh, let's say uh, 2608 or 2604 then we come back here to the <coughs> daily chart and it will be open yeah, it, will be, it would be opening around here so it would be uh, a another step in a probable reversal candlestick reversal pattern if the market gives us a reversal here a black candle then it would have produced what is called as a, a shooting star or or a evening star so uh, the point is what happens if the S&P fails well it's already free, uh, falling and uh, the Bitcoin has fallen Bitcoin has fallen a lot but Bitcoin uh, seems to to be ready to to another downward movement because it's flagging down because, as I'm going to be showing you in a second uh, well <clears throat> With this uh, downward flag in Bitcoin, I, I think uh, I'm back thinking that probably uh, all the assets of the world are going to be affected negatively. Well, with a few uh, exceptions, of course, which are the assets that are opposite, have a, uh, opposite beta index to the S&P which whenever the S&P goes up, they go down. And whenever it goes down, it goes up. But this, there's a few, <coughs> there's only a few uh, assets like that. So as I was saying, I'm back thinking that all the assets of the world are gonna suffer. And we're probably gonna see uh, the, uh, the crypto space falling as well. But, the crypto space is also providing us with some interesting uh, indications which I'm, I'm going to be showing you right away so back to the chart uh, I'm going to be analyzing the most important cryptos with you guys 4 times 5 makes 20 uh, the 20 most important coins or uh, tokens starting with Bitcoin Cash which is uh, well uh, and then I'm going to be showing you uh, uh, the ones we're keeping an eye on which are five cryptos that are not here in the first 20 so Bitcoin Cash is flagging down I think it's going to be breaking this uh, support level here and going down further down probably testing its uh, all times low here that <coughs> happened before I mean after the the, <coughs> the fourth last, last month last December Bitcoin SP has a similar fate probably uh, it broke this line and apparently just made a pullback but this one could say it could be a, a pull flag so we're keeping an eye on it I think <coughs> these uh, sorry I think this is resembling more of a descending triangle uh, or a top formation so uh, I'm bearish on on SV as well well Binance I'm keeping an eye on it because you know Binance uh, went all these way up that is from its beginning 
it went first in a couple of days 1694% then it correct made a a symmetrical triangle uh, wedge and then it went up for another 1000% and it's holding on and it's holding in position so and now uh, we can see uh, upward bottoms and tops at the same level and apparently to, uh, today, right today, right now Binance is breaking this resistance but it did already uh, uh, a few weeks ago, I mean a week ago <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days ago it did the same so we'll be better uh, following these in the hourly chart and I would be willing to see a close uh, above 0 0.00172 in order to think of buying Binance but as I said we're keeping an eye on it, on it right because of what I've just said well Bitcoin Bitcoin, I'm showing you the weekly chart here where I draw these channels and we can see here that it broke that channel, right? Now, uh, what is going to happen? Uh, I think that if we're uh, very positive for uh, with Bitcoin and we draw Fibonacci lines uh, just here uh, and considering, considering that we're seeing a flag here uh, I think it's reasonable to believe that the market is going to come and correct 50% retracement of this upward movement and that would bring Bitcoin to the 2000 level now if we draw a line here actually I'm curious uh, we also see that this uh, support line is also broken and the market would be would have been flagging down below <coughs> the support line support trend line so uh, I think with that Bitcoin is uh, can be hit with a possible uh, dramatic drop in the stock markets <coughs> now uh, a last video, I, I can't remember if it was the one in Portuguese or in English I think I didn't mention that as a probable uh, head and shoulders reverse re, uh, reversal inverted head and shoulders but the point is that you know market is flagging down testing the support level at 3600 and it's probably going to be breaking the support and coming to test the 3200 level which will uh, uh, we can pick one or two either it's going to produce a double bottom here or it will produce as a another descending triangle something like that it would come here could eventually do a flag here or something and then break this and transform that then I thought it was an inverted head and shoulders you know we always uh, we all want Bitcoin to go up right but we have to be uh, realistic and so this is uh, the most probably probable scenario that I see for now uh, but we, we, we'll keep watching Bitcoin if it comes down here and, and produces us produces a a reversal uh, reversal candlestick pattern then we're going to be thinking that uh, it's probably producing as a, a, a double bottom so the que the point is uh, it's uh, not certain what might happen to Bitcoin we have to wait to see what this uh, accumulation evolves to right? so but we're keeping an eye we'll keep an eye on that uh, now Cardano uh, may gave us a bull trap here it's uh, going up today but I'm, I'm, I'm not believing in this 
break up. I think uh, the most probable action is for it to come and test its uh, 1000 Satoshi level, support level. Dash is uh, a no comment. It's probably coming down to test its all time low at uh, point zero one eight. <clears throat> EOS, we actually made a call, a uh, uh, upward call, a buying call for EOS because we thought it was uh, it was uh, breaking this resistant trend line. But it fooled us, and it's now flagging down. It's probably, most probably, I think, uh, breaking the support and this, which is going to be the same as uh, these other support here. They're technically in the same level, we could say, right? And uh, let's see, it's, it's probably coming down to test. It's, uh, it's not its all time low, but it's uh, this very important low. As you see, we have. Uh, Technical events here happening in 2017, uh, March 2018, and this last month, December. Uh, Ethereum is flagging down, it's probably producing a, a top formation here, and it will probably come down further, I think, unless this uh, evolves to an accumulation of uh, eventually. Well, but you know, as it's flagging down, it's probably going to be bre breaking the support here, coming to this next support level at 0 0.028. Yoda, Yoda, no comments. It's uh, in the middle of this accumulation here. Uh, this could be a flag, a downward flag, or it could also, but it could also be a drift pattern uh, for it to go up. No, no comments on that. Litecoin is. Uh, giving us a downward flag. It's probably coming down to test its uh, next support level at 0 0.0076. Monero, it's flagging down. And uh, besides, it has broken this support trend line. And this resembles a, a rectangle or a, an accumulation that should probably continue this downward, down, 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 downtrend movement. So bearish on Monero. NAM flagging down is probably breaking the support at uh, one, two, three, four, uh, 1500 Satoshis and coming to test its all time low here down here. NEO flagging down as well. Flagging down is probably breaking the support at 0 0.002 and testing, retesting its all time low. There is one point in favor of uh, NEO which is that it has produced as a, a, a bear trap here. And uh, it has broken, well, two things, and it has broken this uh, considerable uh, resistance trend line. So if, uh, but it's flagging down, or not, who knows? Well, this, and it broke, it also broke this uh, support trend line. <coughs> and, uh, well, let's see how this evolves, right? Two positive points for, for NEO. If it, break, if it breaks its, uh, this uh, super uh, resistance here at 0.0022, it's probably going to be testing this uh, last stop, and it has a good chance of breaking that and starting a bull market. Ripple, ripple. Uh, we have adjusted our upward trend line, and... Uh, because we're favoring the possibility for that to be a ascending triangle. But, you know, uh, Ripple's not collaborating too much with our analysis. <laughs> but if we see the market break the 9,500 Satoshis over here, then it will be uh, confirming these as a ascending triangle, and I think that would be a, a good buy. Stellar flagging down after breaking this support is probably coming down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 200, 2000, and 2100 Satoshis <coughs> here, which is its next objective. Tron, well, Tron, uh, we already know that. Uh, well, let's remind that, let's be reminded that Tron 
went up for 9,000 percent in a little bit more than a month. And it's holding position. It's holding position and while Bitcoin was coming down, <clears throat> Tron was going up. And it's holding position also in this support trend line. <clears throat> so, if we go to the hourly chart, <clears throat> we can monitor this support trend line here and here and uh, so that's one of the that's one of the coins that we've taken a close look uh, maybe it's already time to buy it uh, that's not a very uh, trustable resistance trend line short trend line short term trend line but uh, we, we we did see a flag here, an upward flag here. So another flag, and I think it would be the time to to put it to our portfolio. Something like that, and especially if it breaks uh, above, if, if it breaks this resistance level, the real body of this uh, resistance level here, of the closing of the 14th of January. So keeping an eye on Tron and uh, good option to put on, on a portfolio that tries to increase our Bitcoins, right? And uh, to uh, to USD, which is the opposite of Bitcoin, if you don't know, that's uh, a chart that we uh, took Bitcoin prices and inverted. And that's an index, uh, an index of our company. For, uh, for and uh, so uh, this is the exact it's the exact opposite of Bitcoin. Whenever you're you're selling Bitcoin in order to, to try to increase it, selling for true USD, I I think it's even though it has a, a lower market cap, I think true USD is more is more uh, it's more to trust than than Tether because of all the problems and and all the discussion about the possibilities of uh, Tether, right? So uh, if you're selling Bitcoin for true USD, uh, which means that if Bitcoin falls, you're going to be increasing your uh, amount of Bitcoins. It's good to take a look in the inverted chart, which is to true USD in Bitcoin, coded in Bitcoin, right? And um, I think uh, this uh, resembles a upward flag to it's testing this resistance level the point uh, that's 28,000 satoshis right yeah 28,000 satoshis and it looks uh, as if it's uh, doing a upward flag same as Bitcoin as I said V chain V chain well has uh, one thing that we keep an eye on uh, that makes us keep an eye on it which is the the, the breaking of this resistance level and <clears throat> Uh, in this uh, <clears throat> downward movement, it seems as if it's just making a pullback to the former <clears throat> resistance line, which is actually providing support now. So this could be an upward, an upward booming uh, flag, right? So that's why we keep an eye on that. If we see something going on here in the hourly chart, yeah. <clears throat> not very pretty chart that shows it has uh, not very good liquidity but for our small amounts can be done Zcash <coughs> felt and it's holding down and it produced us with a <coughs> sorry descending triangle which has been just broken after that the market accumulated in a uh, continuation pattern descending triangle that has been just broken today so uh, <clears throat> I haven't seen that, otherwise I would have uh, made a short call for Zcash. And that's it for the 20 most important cryptos. Now I'm going to show you the ones that we keep in an eye, which are not, uh, which are not the first one. First one is Eternity. Uh, uh, eternity. Well, broke this resistance line, uh, but it already <coughs> went up in two days, 37%. So 
I don't think there's much to be done now. I think even if we go to the hourly chart, it's uh, you could think of placing a stop 20% below. Or best case, you you think of uh, no no the price of less trade at 17%. So we would better wait watching the daily chart for eternity to produce a upward flag or a pennant or something and then whenever it breaks that we buy and um, we buy here and place a stop right below the low of the flag or pennant. So uh, happening then, if that happened, we'll be talking about 10%, uh, which is uh, acceptable for creatures, right? Remember that you have to, the most important thing that you, one must do is to define the size of your position. The size of your position uh, can let you risk only 1%. Even though if the stock is 10% below, simple. You just put 10% of your position. If the stock is 10% below, you put you start a position with 10% of your capital. If you lose 10% of 10% of your capital, you're going to be losing 1% of your whole capital, right? And if you lose 1%, it's like you know receiving a jab when you're boxing. You know, it's okay. The only thing it can't happen is that you can't have a uh, a direct in your face, a uh, direct punch in your face, or a, a left cross, or uh, I can't remember any other punches, but you know what I mean, right? Because if that happens, you you die, and you're looking at your screen, and something starts flashing. Game over. Game over. So regulate the size of your position. Most people think about what to buy or sell and when to buy it. But they forget to think of the most important variable, which is how much to buy. And that connects, it's a straight connection to your uh, psychological. And if you keep your psychological balanced, you have a chance of winning in the markets. If your psychological is unbalanced, there is no way you're going to make money in this market. Okay? So that's it. Back to the chart here. Next one is Icon. Mm, no, uh, well, actually, I don't know why, why I placed Icon here. I think it's it's misplaced. Yeah, well, it's not a very uh, trustful trend line, and uh, it, it looks as if it's flagging down. Probably testing the support here of the all times low. Ontology. Ontology. Yeah, I think I added the ones, but I forgot to subtract the ones that we were keeping an eye, but not anymore. Okay, steam. Just yes, now yes. It just broke this resistance line, but same thing as the last one, right? It raised a lot today. You'd have to place a stop 17% away. So the best thing is for for you to wait for a flag to be made or for a pullback to the former resistant trend line and then enter the market. But it's uh, definitely giving us a, a sign. Now Zilliqa, it's uh, producing a very good uh, upward uh, sign because uh, it broke this uh, resistance, which is very important. After producing us with a, a bearish trap, bear trap here. So uh, do we have the same problem with Zilliqa? Ah, yeah, most probably, yeah. 20% away would be the stop, so uh, you better wait for a flag just like that look now 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 we're talking business here we're seeing a flag here and 
we're, we, there's another flag here. So we can think of buying right now and placing the stop to uh, technical events below, which would be around here. And that would mean our stop would be around 5.8, 6% away, which makes it very decent. And that's it. Okay, thank you uh, very much for watching the video until now. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, click the bell to be informed whenever we produce videos. If you're going to be, uh, if you're thinking of opening an account in a exchange, uh, please consider open, uh, consider opening an account in Binance, which is the biggest exchange, the one I use, and use the link below so you'll be helping the channel. Whenever you trade, uh, we're going to get a little bit, uh, a small portion of your of the commission you, you pay. Of course, you're not going to have any any extra costs with that. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.